thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Mr. Jones. It is my pleasure to introduce next Congressman Scott Ritchell. Um, Scott, you did it. I know, I know. Well, let me just say, okay, he was elected to the United States House of Representatives in 2010. Scott is working to preserve our region's unique military assets in support of our men and women in uniform. He's a member of the House Armed Services Committee, was instrumental in the successful efforts also to keep all East Coast carriers based on, in Norfolk. In addition to the House Armed Services Committee, Mr. Ridgell also serves on the Committee on Homeland Security and the Committee on Science, Space, and Technology. So uh, please welcome Scott Ridgell. Thank you very much, uh, Carolyn. Thank you for the kind introduction. Secretary Suit, I am not at all surprised to see you here. I know you love our military, and um, I just want to express my appreciation to you and to the governor. Uh, please let him know that we appreciate his continued support of our men and women in uniform. Mr. Vice Mayor, uh, thank you for your remarks and uh, for the continued support, uh, and really just, I think, the love that uh, Virginia Beach extends to our veterans. Jim, appreciate the prayer, sir. And uh, may I express to you, on behalf of all veterans here today, just our deep respect and appreciation for your service to our country. Um, you know, so many of our veterans come home, and they're just perfectly fine. And that's what we always hope and pray for. We also know that some come home with disabilities. Some are visible, some are not. Um, Post-traumatic stress disorder, for example. And we also know that there are some that don't go home, come home, our Gold Star families. So we need to stand with them. But today, on this beautiful day, we are celebrating, I think, a remarkable achievement. And I had to write this down. I tried to memorize it, but I just couldn't quite wrap my arms around all the words. It's the first affordable, permanent, supportive rental housing for disabled veterans. Can you see why? <laughs> But it is truly uh, unique, and it is uh, the very first in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And it is so appropriate that it is here in Hampton Roads. I know I only was given a minute or two to speak, but I just want to capture how special, all, within all of America, I truly believe that Virginia is special. I believe history points to this. And then within Virginia, I have a strong bias towards Southeast Virginia, uh, Hampton Roads, and because of uh, Providence, we have this beautiful geography. Our military has always been here. And so we've always had a special appreciation and bond with our men and women in uniform. So to see this remarkable collection of wonderful agencies come together, uh, federal dollars, state dollars, local dollars, and private contributions, Wow, what a lesson we could learn in Washington about, you know, just seeing how all that comes together. I'm just so impressed. I know we're here as a result of countless hours from so many. So each of you have my deep appreciation. I look forward to coming back to the uh, actual opening in maybe 12 to 15 months. Thank you so much for being here to support our veterans. Thank you. Scott Ridgell, 
we've known him for years. I mean, you have folks representing you that really are a team. They're not forced to work together. We work together because we enjoy each other and we enjoy working on these issues. And our team that you're going to meet in a few minutes from DHCD and VHDA, just phenomenal folks that I've worked with for forever. Uh, between my passion for housing issues and when I was a delegate representing you in the, the state, and of course the, the passion that the governor and I share. Uh, in fact, that's kind of an understatement for uh, military and veterans issues. So thank you for what you're doing. You know, these are serious issues. When our service members come home, they need support. And we know that we've got a great community here that works together, great networks to support them. But this, this need for support is going to grow. As the war efforts draw down, as more of our service members discharge, uh, as more of them retire and stay in this local community, they're going to need more help. And it is so refreshing to see Virginia Beach, who not only lobbies hard and works hard to keep our active duty military here, but also then steps up to the plate to make sure they answer the call to provide that support and those services once our active duty discharge, that is just heartening and refreshing and so wonderful to see. And that's what we're going to need across the Commonwealth and across this nation. Our veterans are coming home. Our veterans need support. I grew up, my father's second career after retiring from the Army was VVSD. Has anyone here heard of Vietnam Veterans of San Diego? Anybody heard of Stand Down? So my father's second career was running Stand Down as part of VVSD out in San Diego. So I grew up as a, a you know, senior in high school and in my early college days, going with dad to Balboa Park, uh, my mom typing resumes, you know, watching our friends that did the haircutting there, you know, all the work that we did out there to try to make sure our homeless veterans at Balboa Park got back in and integrated into the community. And now I see the same kind of efforts happening here. So I want to thank you uh, on behalf of the governor. You know, the governor has made one of our number one initiatives at the state working on eliminating homelessness among the veterans population here in Virginia. That's a big goal. It's a big goal for Secretary Shinseki that he said by 2015 we've got to eliminate homelessness among our veterans. We're doing our part of the state to make that happen and it's great to see our friends and our partners here in Virginia Beach setting the example for the Commonwealth of Virginia and doing their part here in Virginia Beach. Thank you all very much. Next, I'd like to introduce Carrie Schmidt. She's the Richmond Field Office Director for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. She's been um, in housing and urban community and economic development for over 25 years. She recently served as Director of Community Programs for USDA Rural Development, serving all rural communities across the Commonwealth of Virginia. In addition, she served as Deputy Director for the Rural Housing Service in Washington, D.C., and has held numerous positions within rural development. Welcome. Thank you so much. I am kind of the new kid on the block for HUD, um, but I have to say it is amazing what today brings. Because as a representative of HUD, our mission is sustainable, affordable housing, and we are too on goal for eliminating homelessness for veterans. And the partnership, you've got so many folks. You've got federal, you've got state, you've got philanthropic, your financial institutions. We all have rules. We all have requirements. It is a very tough job to bring together over $6.6 million for this to happen. HUD is kind of on the background, on the fringes, because our money is not direct to Virginia Beach Community Development Corp rather through the city, through the CBD program, and through the home program, and then working with Bill's group with the Department of Housing and Community Development through their CBD program and home program and the neighborhood stabilization program. But the biggest thing and the thing that makes it really exciting is once we all come back in a year, it's all said and done in a beautiful facility that's sustainable, it's environmentally friendly, that the rent will remain affordable for our veterans who have served to help us so that we can contribute back to them. So with the Section 8 vouchers, and thank you again for the city to be able to apply those to the 32 units there, we are so grateful. We're so thankful that y'all have done what you've done. It's hard work, 
it's going to get harder because as funds tend to shift, um, we can't go to one resource anymore. It takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. And thank you so very much. Next, it's my privilege to introduce Bill Shelton, who is the director of the Virginia Department of Housing and Community Development. I have trouble saying that because it's always DHCD to me. So. Um, I, uh, he's responsible for management and policy and oversight of the agency, which provides community development and housing program support to communities across the Commonwealth. They have been a very good partner with the BBCDC throughout the year. We welcome Bill. Thank you. Great uh, Congressman, appreciate the support of Washington and Terry. Uh, it's been a great partnership with the Secretary and uh, certainly providing leadership to us all. Um, I would like to focus my remarks about uh, one unique aspect of this. Uh, one of these programs that's been used to support this is the neighborhood stabilization funding. Now that funding was originally for foreclosure impacts. And the way that has worked, we were able to work with the Virginia Beach Community Development Corporation uh, providing support. So they've been buying houses, rehabilitating houses, and reselling them. And of course, when you generate income off the sale of those properties, it gets to be reinvested in the community. And so we've got a great partnership, and we're able to take the resource uh, and revolve it uh, several times over. And one way it's being revolved, uh, the money was used to purchase the site uh, and to remove the existing structure was there and prepare it for uh, what's going to be a great facility. Uh, we also were very proud to be able to blend another resource that we have. Uh, the city has home resources. We have the ability to use our home funding that comes through HUD uh, for support of affordable housing, and this is a great program to kind of blend resources coming together uh, with all the partners to provide what will be a great, unique project and one which we think will uh, provide a model uh, across the state. So not only are we interested in support of housing, but in this case, especially proud to be part of this program for disabled veterans uh, working together to create a model that we hope gets replicated across the state. Uh, we look forward to working both with the city, uh, with Virginia Beach CDC, and get, getting this project underway, and then using this as, a, as I said, as a model to take to other communities. And thank you so much for letting me be here and be part of the program today. As a number of people have stated, one of the hallmarks of this program is, in fact, that all of the capital has been committed, and we have a sustainable plan for the operations of this program. And that's a pretty unique thing in this day and age to be able to do that. In addition, I wanted to point out to you, uh, in your program, you have a list of the other sponsors. Maybe uh, specific eight political announcements. Sandwiched in between uh, the speakers, but BBCDC has done a great job of pulling together all of the, the um, participants in both the capital costs and the operating costs. But we still are in a campaign mode to create money to provide furnishings for the apartments, to create transportation and mobility, um, and to uh, be able to continue to support case management services for the veterans once they are residents within uh, Cedar Grove. So we, we are doing that. Um, you have a list in your program of some of our great sponsor, sponsors. Uh, Geico and Hall Automotive have already stepped up, uh, as has American Foundation and the Virginia Pilot, and you can see the list of some of the other sponsors here. And there is room and time for any of you who want to be a sponsor to continue to be able to do that. So that's my paid announcement. Um, but I do want to recognize our sponsors because they really have been fantastic. Um, next, I'd like to introduce Susan Dewey. Sue, Susan is the Executive Director of the Virginia Housing Development Authority uh, since 1999. Prior to that, she was State Treasurer and a member of several boards, including BHDA. She directs all operations of BHDA, including their 9.8 billion independent self-supporting authority. Susan, thank you. Thank you very much. It's great to be home. I'm, as Terry said, I'm from the Hampton Roads area, so my heart is always in Hampton Roads, but my BHDA heart is always with affordable housing, and nothing sums up the goals of VHDA more than this type of project. It supports all the goals that we have at VHDA with sustainability, serving those that are most needy, particularly our homeless veterans. It also supports all the goals of Governor McDonald's housing policy that we're working with VHCD to make sure that we're focusing our efforts on those that are most in need of housing. 
And I'd just like to say thank you to all of you. I know there's so many of you that have made this happen. But when we talk about affordable housing, the one thing...